So today I'm gonna take you on a graffiti walking tour through Little Italy. It's only a few blocks. It's a really small area, so the video is gonna be pretty short. But I figured, you know, it's a it's a little area between uh, Soho and Chinatown and Lower East Side. So I, I kind of skipped over it when I was doing uh, sections on those other areas. Also, I was at last September's San Gennaro Feast. The San Gennaro Feast is an Italian festival, it's a street festival, where uh, all the vendors are selling like Zeppelis and fried Oreos and sausage and pepper heroes and a lot of people come out for it. It's like a week long. You see these uh, street art stencils? This is actually, um, I don't know him personally. I know he's in a wheelchair and I don't know, know much history. I don't know his handy, he's handicapped, but he basically paints these in a wheelchair. And uh, yeah, I mean, I was not expecting to do this tour today. So I didn't do any previous research. I'm just doing this on the fly because I was headed somewhere and then I kind of squashed that idea. So now, I'm just, I just was passing through Little Italy and I'm like, you know what? It's so quiet right now. This is a Tristan Eaton mural. Tristan Eaton, he's been, he's been around a long time.
there's a guy who, who who's set up here. I think he fixes shoes and does something with like the leather. But he, I think he's a homeless like Chinese man, and he draws all these these pictures, and they're wheat pasted on the wall. I think because you know what I saw him drawing one 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 time. He was sitting there drawing on a piece of paper, and I was like asking him if I could buy one. And he didn't speak a word of English. He didn't know what I was talking about. But what's really crazy is, I mean, yeah, I don't think he's putting, he's doing these to sell them. I just think that he likes to draw and he's just hang, like hanging stuff on the wall. This is really amazing. This with the panda bears. I mean, this is what he sees. This is what he knows. He just, he knows the pandas. Like he's probably drawing these from memory. This is, this is hilarious. It's another Tristan Eaton mural. This is really crazy to see. It's a wise outline in a Foes, Foes 501. It's pretty old. Argue tag. It's Foes, Foes 501. So, 90s writer wise that's really rare to see that So this is 190 Bowery. 190 Bowery is probably one of the most iconic buildings downtown. It's this huge building, um, it used to be a bank. It was the Germania Bank building. It was built in 1899, I believe. I, I looked it up real quick. And it was sold to a photographer named Jay Mizell in 1966. And he sold the building in 2015 for something like $50 million. But before, Supreme is here now, the famous skate shop. And before Supreme, it was uh, they, when the when they were um, when J. Mizell sold the building, they tried actually cleaning all the graffiti off the side of the building, and they kept the next piece in front. And then uh, they kind of gave up on the cleaning efforts, and a whole new round of guys started painting the building. So I have a bunch of pictures of of the cleaning process and some of the old stuff that was on it. But all this graffiti here now is somewhat, it's not the old, old stuff that was on the wall. And on these windows was really, really legendary stuff. Like when they redid all these windows, they removed the wood. Where I'm curious where it is today. Probably in, I heard it, actually I asked, they said uh, it's in storage, the owner put it in storage, but I mean, that stuff's real valuable. I could point out some of the original tags actually on here. It's cool to see. This is some newer stuff. Let me see. Like this tag here. I think that was there. 
Zer. From when it was a lot of the Iraq guys that were on here. Iraq was a crew that pretty much was very, very, they dominated this neighborhood in a lot of ways. I'll show you. Yeah, it's pretty uh, iconic little intersection here, corner. I remember Iraq, I remember they even had a block party here. I was there for that. They had bands performing, really low key at the time. You know, trying to compare it, compare something like that today where people would be coming in from all over the, the country, all over the world probably, with the spread, how fast the spread information is. Like at the time it was just like, it was a chill block party. Pretty, pretty historical.